Let's talk about that little dirty word, sales. Everybody always says, oh my gosh, I don't like sales. I just like to help people. Well, I got news for you. Sales happens every day. Every day you are selling yourself to somebody. Whether it's to convince your kids to get their shoes on and get ready for school, you're making a sales pitch, or whether it's to convince your husband that you want to go out to dinner tonight, that's a sales pitch. Now, many of us have sales involved, and if you're a business owner, you're selling every single day, whether you feel like you are a salesperson or not. And sales is the cornerstone to making sure that you're successful in your business. Now, I'm not talking about your old time slimy salesperson trying to sell the snake oil. That's not it. But sales is really helping people. It's helping people find a solution to problems and helping alleviate issues that could be coming at them. So no matter what kind of business owner you are, invest in sales training. Please, I want to tell you about an experience I just had with what we would normally consider to be one of the biggest salespeople industries in the world, car sales. Recently, my husband bought a new truck. Before he bought it, he was in search of a truck, and we talked to four different dealerships. And I will tell you that the salespeople there are not salespeople. They were all order takers. They were no different than the person on the drive through window at McDonald's. Hopefully they got a little more correct because you're spending more money with them. However, they're not more in sales training than somebody at McDonald's. And they didn't even ask if I wanted to upsize or add the fries to it. They were just trying to get a deal knocked out and felt like they were just there to facilitate something. Well, a good salesperson takes some time to do a couple of things. So I'm gonna cue you in on the minimal ideas that you need for sales in every single business. Number one, when you talk with somebody who approaches your business might be a customer, ask their name and tell them your name. Introduce yourself. That seems like it might be old timey. You know, we used to have all the handshakey stuff and many times you're not in person anymore. No matter if you're in person or virtual, introduce yourself and make sure that you know their name and you call them by name. Number two, Learn what it is that brought them there that day to talk to you. You just need a simple question. So what brings you here today? That will help them tell you what they're looking for and help you judge quickly whether or not that's something you can help them with. Those two things are sales. When we approached a three out of the four car dealerships, first off, they didn't even know our names. We were about to leave and they still didn't know our names. And we left and did not know their name until they handed us a business card. That's not good. That stinks. That's terrible. Please, folks, go back to the basics. And I know again that people don't want to do sales training but you really need to. It's an integral part. I'm an accountant and I will tell you that you need to know sales before you even know about your numbers in your business. <laughs> That's not going to be an exaggeration and I'm a little biased towards the numbers. So please make sure you understand some basics of sales and don't be afraid of it. It may be intimidating to you, but practice and make it a journey of helping people to use your product or service to help make their life better.